have you ever felt like constantly defending network marketing? You're not alone. Many people misunderstand this industry and end up missing out on its incredible benefits. So let's face it, network marketing often gets a bad rap, right? Beginners and even seasoned marketers struggle with objections because people just don't trust the opportunity it offers. They question how it works, what they can gain and whether it's really worth their time. Instead of joining, they make excuses to miss out on the potential life-changing opportunity. But today, I'm going to tackle the top five objections recruiters face in network marketing and show you how to handle them effectively. With over a decade in this industry and having built a successful network with over 6,000 distributors and 80,000 customers, I have seen it all. So, whether you're just starting out or looking to up your game, this video is for you. Get ready to turn those objections into opportunities and take your network marketing journey to the next level. But before we go into those top five objections, I want to share with you my opinion what is really behind an objection. Because most of the time, you know, people, when they come up with different objections why they do not like to start in network marketing, there is a deeper meaning behind it. And for me, I crafted out four different things. Number one is that they have not understood network marketing yet. So in this case, they need more explanation. Number two is that they don't believe in your company you're working with. So you need to give them more information about your company. Number three is they don't believe in you. They don't believe that they can really be successful with you. So help them to understand the system, how you're working and that they, they can succeed with you. And the last one, and this is maybe the biggest one is they don't believe in themselves. And this is a crucial part because here you need to gain confidence around themselves that they can step out of the life they're living right now, start a new opportunity and change their life for the better. Now, let's take a look at those top five objections and what they really mean. So, let's start with objection number one. Is this a pyramid scheme? That's maybe the question where most people are really afraid of. What it means to me when people ask you the question if this is a pyramid scheme, it just means that they have not understood network marketing yet. You need to explain them what it really means to be in a network marketing business. And for me, I like to compare it just with a normal company structure. You know, Apple, they have their headquarter in the US. And then they have, you know, Apple America, Apple Europe, Apple Africa, Apple Asia. And if you zoom in into Europe, because I'm living in Europe, then we have Apple Germany, Austria, Switzerland, France, Spain, Italy. And then if you zoom in to the next country, my home country, Austria, then we have, you know, Apple in Tyrol, Salzburg, Vienna. And finally, if I go to Innsbruck, there are a couple of Apple stores where people are going in and buying some amazing products. This is a normal company structure. You know, it's built from, from the top down. And 70 or 100 years ago, there was just one person who broke down this system for a one-person company and called it network marketing. And this is why we have the opportunity to use something that every successful company in the world uses. And this is called leverage effect. I love that word, leverage effect. Because with leverage, it's the only possibility how you can really create residual or passive income flow. Because you build up your business one time and then it creates over and over turnover even without being really involved by yourself. And this is just due to the leverage effect. In network marketing, you actually have the opportunity to exactly create this leverage effect. You know, when you start up in the very beginning, it's all up to you. Because if you don't share your passion about your product or your service, you will not get any customers. And if you don't share your passion about the business opportunity, you will not get any new distributors into your organization. Organization. But if you do so, you know, you will get your first customers and then you will start building your first branches. And then the magic starts happening because then you start using leverage effect. And if you support your new people in your team to do the same thing as you did, you know, help them to get their first customers and help them to found their first branches by getting new distributors in their organization, you really get the leverage effect working for you. And this is where the magic lies in network marketing. And there's the big but. This leverage effect is very attractive. And as everywhere in life, there is people that misuse things and then they create something called like a pyramid scheme. You know, they really misuse the leverage effect. We don't need to talk things better than they are. There are 
pyramid schemes out there in the marketplace. I know, I know that, I have seen them. So that's why it is very important for you to be very aware when you're choosing a company. You know, make sure that this company really has a product or a service to offer. That it's not just about recruiting people in, it's about really helping people to solve their problems in their lives with your product or with your service. So that's very important. Do your research on the company. Don't just jump into something because you're getting excited, because you see an opportunity how to, to really make a difference in your own life. So do the research. It helps because afterwards, then you are not getting disappointed when you maybe figure out, oh, that was the wrong company. Because this industry, network marketing, you know, all those legal companies, it's life changing. It's uh, mind blowing. I love this industry. I hope you can feel that passion when I'm talking. So important, choose the right company. Second thing is how I handle or how I recognize, you know, when, when people are coming up to me, like, I like to talk about my most favorite guy, it's Tom. So when I have a talk with Tom and I introduce him into the business opportunity and he comes with that question, he says, is this a pyramid scheme or is it a snowball system? How I respond is, oh, Tom, that's very interesting that you mention it. So you have already some experience in network marketing. And most of the time, I don't say all the time, but most of the time, that's the moment when the people suddenly recognize, hmm, actually, I do not have any experience in network marketing. I have no clue what I'm talking about. I'm just talking the same thing that other people are talking around me. And this is then the door opener to have a real honest conversation about what network marketing really is and to explain him so that he can build his own opinion around it. So my advice, if you are just starting in, uh, in network marketing is in the very beginning, really work closely with your upline because they have the experience, you know, they know how to handle objections like, is this a pyramid scheme? And use your upline, your sponsor as a third party tool because then you are just the person that creates the connection between your prospect and your sponsor and your sponsor is doing the work for you. And the beautiful part about that is that you can learn while watching how your sponsor is handling the conversation and with the experience of your sponsor, he will help you to get your first distributors into your organization. Then let's talk about objection number two. I do not have enough money to get started. I like this one. You know, when, when people come up with this objection that they do not have enough money to start building their own business, um, it just tells me that they do not trust the company or they do not trust yourself or they do not trust themselves. So you need to figure out what is the real reason behind. Because money is never the issue. You know, the opportunity in network marketing, just with a couple of hundred euros or maybe a thousand euros, starting your own business that can give you unlimited income potential, I think it's a no-brainer. If you really want to, you will always find the money. Because what I have seen in our culture is that if the people have a strong enough why, they will get things done. And for example, if somebody loses his iPhone or mobile phone, or it falls them down and it's broken, they'll find the money immediately to get a new phone. They find a solution just to be available in the next day, right away again. So it's not really the money, the issue, because if they really want to, they would figure out a way how to get the money to buy that starter kit to get these couple of hundred euros. So in fact, it's an amazing opportunity just to solve your money problem. Now, if you don't have the money right now, maybe you need to borrow it or, or figure out how to get it. But it just tells me that you have not had a good handle on money till now. And network marketing actually is an opportunity to help you to create some extra income, maybe become a full-time networker in the future or like it happened for many people I know that you even create financial freedom and financial independence with this industry. So if money is an issue right now, you should join network marketing to make a change in your life because it is more than just building a business. It's also an education about how to really deal and handle money in your life. And how I personally, you know, often respond if people tell me, you know, ah, Falco, it's really interesting but I do not have the money. Then I can just relate to them because I have seen it so many times that people in my organization had the same issue. And then I can just tell the story, you know, there, there were so many people that haven't had the money in the very beginning, but somehow they just made it happen. And now a few years later, they have built a business so that they never need to think about money anymore. And that's just the truth. That's how, just how it is. Then let's talk about objection number three. I don't have the time to do something extra right now. And this is also just telling you that the person you're talking to have not understood network marketing till now 
They maybe do not believe in your company, in your product or your service. They maybe do not believe in you and maybe they don't believe in themselves so that they can really make a change in their life. So, and having not enough time actually is also a very good reason to start in network marketing. Because as I explained before, you know, due to the leverage effect, network marketing allows you to uh, create residual income or passive income. That doesn't mean that once uh, you have built a big organization, you will never work. You know, people who are achievers, and the achievers actually are those people who build really big organizations, they like to work. But the difference is you work on your terms. You know, you decide when, where, with whom, and what time you put into building your business, even bigger than before. So, and the truth is most people just think that they do not have enough time. But in fact, it is, you know, we all have 24 hours a day. And there is people in that world, you know, that run multiple companies. You know, there are very successful, you know, single moms with multiple companies. And there is people that are doing charity work. They are involved into sports clubs, building a business, you know, doing everything. And they have the same 24 hours. So think about it. It's not about the time. It's about using the time effectively. Some people spend five to seven hours in social media and in front of the TV. And some people are building their future during that time. That's just how it is. For me, it is like this. If you sleep a lot, you need eight hours of sleep. Then you need to eat. Maybe you go to work eight hours a day. Then you eat, drink. It's again a couple of hours. Then maybe you do an hour of sport a day. But then there is still a couple of hours left every single day to work on your future, to work on your fortune. So it's not about not having enough time. It's about making your own success, your own life a priority. I just want to share my story with you. When I started in network marketing, I, I was the national coach in Austria. I was coaching the national team in Nordic combined. And we have been traveling 255 days a year. So I was all over the world. And I started building my business part-time online from no matter where I have been. If it was in Finland, Norway, Germany, USA, Japan, it didn't matter because I had a strong enough why. And this kept me going and always finding solutions to find enough time to build the business. And now when I'm full-time in network marketing, it is like spending a couple of hours a week just to keep the business up and running and growing. So if you want to have more time for those people you really love, you know, for those things you really want to do, for traveling, Network marketing is an opportunity for you to get exactly this done. Let's talk about objection number four. This will destroy my friendships. And this is a big one because, you know, our relationships to, to our closest are maybe the import, most important ones we have. And I, I really acknowledge that, you know, for newcomers, the fear of, you know, having an impact on their relationship is totally normal. Because the truth is, the first people you're going to talk to in network marketing is your friends and your family. But it makes a huge difference how you approach them. You know, if you are hunting your friends and your family and you just want to sell them something to make yourself feeling a little bit more successful, um, yeah, I have to agree. Then maybe it might destroy the relationship to your friends and to your family. But if you are really convinced about what you do, you know, about the product or the service you provide, about network marketing, your business opportunity, and you are genuine listening, you know, and knowing your friends and your family, most likely your product, your service, or your business opportunity might solve some of the problems they are facing in their lives. So it's not about hunting your people, it's about helping them to solve their problems in their lives. I wanna explain you or just share the story how I started in network marketing. Because when I started, I was reading a book. And in this book was mentioned that the first people you should talk to is your friends and your family. And because of one reason, if you have a vision and you are clear about where you really want to go and you are determined to succeed in the long run in building your network marketing business, it is important to involve your friends and your family. Because just think about it. if you succeed and in three, four, five years, six years from now, you earn a couple of thousand euros a month, residual income, and you don't have to trade time for money anymore. And then your family and your friends realize what you are doing and you have not informed them about that opportunity. Do you think that they would still believe that they are your friends and your family? And this is why I decided my very first meeting, I invited my entire family and all my friends to my living room and I just told them what I'm up to. I told them about my vision. I told them what I'm going to do, that I'm going to be a network marketing professional in a couple of years from now. And I showed them for sure the product I was working with. And some of them even became customers. But what really was the most important thing is that they were involved 
into my journey and what I got was support from them. So this is why it is so important to introduce your new business venture to your friends and your family because you want to make sure they are still friends three to five years from now when you are successful in network marketing. And this is exactly what happens to me right now. Everybody is really happy for me that I finally did it. I told them I'm going to do it. Now I did it. And so there is no jealousy. They are really happy for me. And, and I wish the same for you. So get started and tell your friends and your family what you're up to. And I want to share a second thought about it, how you don't never need to bother your, your friends and your family or anybody, because it is about understanding the needs of your prospect. If you are really listening and you can really understand what needs, what challenges your prospect has, as I said before, most likely your product or your service or your business opportunity will help them to solve the challenge. So it's about understanding the needs and then providing help. And if you tackle it this way, you never need to bother somebody or anybody from your closest people. And this brings us already also to objection number five. I'm not a salesperson. You know, this misconception is widespread in network marketing. People think it's about selling, but network marketing, the last thing it really is, is a sales job. Network marketing is much more a coaching job. It's a, it's a job where you are taking care of other people. I just want to share you my example. You know, I have built now an organization with more than 6,000 distributors and 80,000 customers. But my personal customers are always somewhere between 20 to 25 customers. So I have sold, let's say it's sold, something to 20 to 25 people. But I have coached many people to take responsibility for their own lives, to use network marketing as a door opener to change their life for the better. And they built every each of them maybe 20 to 25 customers and so a huge organization was growing. So network marketing is much more about coaching. And this is also when I just look at it percentage wise, I'm coaching much more than solving people's problems by giving them a product. And as I said before, so in network marketing, it's not about selling, it's about an invitation to solve the problem. It's about listening, understanding the people's needs, as I said before already, and then offering value, you know, real value to help them to solve their challenge. And like this, you're never selling a product. So the most important thing here is that you really need to be convinced about your product or your service and your business opportunity. And you need to be totally emotional detached from the outcome. Because at the end of the day, it's you should not care if they take the advantage of your product, your service or your opportunity or not. You can just invite them to take a look at it and they need to make their own decision about if this is the right product for them, the right service, or if they want to be part of your business venture. So at the end of the day, in network marketing, you are by far less a salesperson than a problem solver. Just as I said in the beginning, you know, when people come up with objections, they just tell me that they don't really know what network marketing is or maybe they don't believe in your company, your product. They don't believe in you or they don't believe in themselves. The objections that are coming up is just the excuse not to really dive deep into the deeper meaning. So if this video was helpful for you, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so that I can support you with more useful videos like this and make your network marketing business thrive. Thank you. Take care and bye bye.